The narrative being peddled by the tobacco companies that now they have discovered, in fact they are telling us they have discovered a more or less harmful product. I think that is a wrong, uh, a wrong picture that they are trying to, to, to paint of what they have been doing. Because if that's the case, they should actually stop production of cigarettes because they know now cigarettes are harmful. So they, they should stop. And uh, these new products that they are bringing in, like Lyft, uh, e-cigarettes and so on and so forth, uh, relying on information from WHO, there is no conclusive evidence that these products are less harmful. So no one should de deceive us that this is less harmful than this one and so on and so forth. What we know is that all these tobacco products are harmful to human health and they should be regulated as such. And when we look at the law, section uh, 15, uh, part 5 of the Tobacco Control Act, it actually details some of uh, the, the measures that should be taken against such. Any product that has been, is being sold in a disguise, either a sweet or a mint or something like that, that product should actually be regulated and if push comes to shove, it should be banned because these people are not following the laws that we have in our country. We need to implement first what is there in the Act. We have not completely implemented what is there and we have seen so many challenges with implementation, but we should in, uh, strengthen our implementation of what we have right now before we open the Act to any further adjustments or so on and so forth. So what we have right now, let us adhere to that. Let us to adhere to, to the laws that ban some of this product. Let us adhere to the warnings and uh, warning labels provided. Let us adhere to not selling to young people. Let us adhere to issues to do with marketing and so on and so forth. From there, we can actually, after that, sit down and say, now let us open up the act to strengthen it. But right now, I will say that uh, it covers all these that we are dealing with. So as tobacco control advocates in the country, we are against the, the plead by the tobacco industry to be given tax holidays. Because according to the World Health Organization, uh, FCTC Treaty, it actually calls upon parties to actually not to give any incentive to the tobacco companies. And this is actually, uh, I will say that uh, uh, parties are encouraged to uh, treat the tobacco industry the way it is itself. So we actually, uh, we are calling upon uh, the government to heed it properly. Uh, the tobacco industry should be not be given any incentives. The tobacco industry uh, should actually pay their fair share of tax. And you see, when we look at the the, the needs in our government. Actually, our tobacco control board is not funded as now. And we really need these resources to fund the tobacco control board. We really need these resources for universal health coverage and other projects that the government has. We are really appreciative of the government for signing and ratifying the ITP. And we feel that this one will help in cross-border trade and also minimize instances of uh, tobacco smuggling into the country. And uh, this one actually, if you look at it critically, this is the revenue that you've been losing to, sm uh, to tobacco smuggling. And uh, when we curb that, we'll find that the revenue will actually increase and uh, we can have resources that will uh, help the country. Uh, finally, on uh, the issue of uh, uh, Solesium Fund, the fund has been there since 2007. The issue is that it has taken long, but we are now happy with the government. The progress that the government, the steps that the government has taken, and the progress is actually positive. We feel that uh, we should actually quicken the steps to ensure that we have the tobacco control fund in place so that the tobacco industry can begin paying what is due. Uh, that is the 2% Solatium Fund to the government and it will actually help to actually uh, uh, undo the harm that they have been doing uh, to our people and also to the economy.